I think the legislative environment um, is still very fragmented and still very different, not only from state to state within uh, the United States, but also on a global scale. And since CES pretends to be a global, a worldwide technology exposition, I think uh, they're doing well in being careful what uh, to allow and to what extent things like uh, recreational drugs uh, can be promoted. So just for the fact that uh, CES is one of the innovators of uh, technology and uh, cannabis is, you know, being as big as it is now, uh, you know, especially with uh, so much stigma going around it and, you know, new technology coming out, I'm surprised that they can't show something re revolving cannabis. I would definitely think in hardware alone, it's just, it's, uh, it's magnificent just seeing where, where it was and where it is now with all the different rigs and tools and um, water pieces and, and everything like that and safes and there's so much to it. There's so much that can be done and so much has already been done. So it's exciting to see where it's going. We draw lines and we have to. We don't allow pornographic. We don't allow uh, content where, where ch children are killed. We don't allow uh, anything with vaping. Uh, and the marijuana has been a tougher one for us. We're, I think we're waiting to see. It's a little more legal around uh, at least the country. Uh, we're heading in that direction. But we, we do actually allow companies to exhibit if, if it's not the primary purpose of their booth. Uh, if it's more incidental, but that's a that's a very tough call for us.